in this video, I want to talk with you about approaching women, but not approaching women. I want to talk with you about how to become more social and to pull people into your reality naturally, whether that's a beautiful woman or whether that's people in general, whether you just want to be social or maybe you're in business and you're in sales. This video will help you out. It's a mindset shift, okay? I want to talk about the secret to this art and why it's not really about approaching women. You see, naturals often say to me that I don't approach women, it's just kind of meet them. And I want to talk about the art of that and what that is. If you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to change this reality in me. Now, before I do, I want to uh, welcome you. I'm out in Bozeman, Montana. This is my home in Bozeman. Uh, this is my first YouTube video I'm doing from here other than a, a live stream. Uh, about to go snowboarding tomorrow, and I just wanted to show you guys this before I get started. And then we're going to dive right in. This is my releasing snowboard. I had it made. See how it says imperturbability? peace, acceptance, courage. And then on the backside, we got fearless. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be using that, but I think I'm gonna be skiing and not snowboarding. So just a little uh, fun side note, if you want to know where I'm at, what I'm doing, I always like to add in a little bit of, I'm adding in more and more personal stuff. And if you like that stuff, please let me know. Now let's dive into this video. What does it mean to approach women? You see, the average client comes to us and he wants to approach women because he has a goal. He has a, a, an idea in mind. And remember, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you how to transmute this into more and more success and better social skills. It's, it's a powerful little technique because it just changes the way you think internally and then causes a shift in your external reality. So uh, the average individual, your average man goes out to meet women. And so when he's approaching, he has all this pressure on himself. He's thinking, I got to impress her. I got to get her phone number. I got to get a date. And every time he doesn't get one of those things, he beats himself up. Matter of fact, a lot of the women reject him right away because they feel all that heaviness on him when he comes to approach. They feel all this this, this, I got to meet you. I want to meet you. There's this want, 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 and they're pushing forward with their energy. Like if I'm leaning into you guys and I'm like wanting, I'm like, Hey, how you doing? What's your name? And there's this push. It causes people to back up. So one of the things we do at Fearless is we have you talk to a lot of people. We have you socialize a lot. We have you go out and, and connect with a lot of people. And the reason we do that is because when you get good at socializing, you don't have to be a big gregarious energy. You can be a calm, smooth energy. You can be a relaxed energy. But when you get good at socializing in general, and you can make people laugh and smile, and, and you can connect and you can listen to a person, whether it's a little old lady, a hot, young, beautiful woman, your next door neighbor, whoever it is, it's gonna be that much easier to connect when you meet that woman of your dreams. And so we encourage you to do this a lot. So we'll, I'll go out to do a ton of highs on a given day. Hey, how you doing? Just throwing out the highs, letting go of all outcome. Like, I don't care if they respond back. I'm just going to send them a gift. And what I find is the more my heart blasts open, the more they want to say hi back. I might go out and do a ton of stops and just talk to people and joke with them and laugh with them. And the same thing happens. The less I care about their response, the more they want to say hi back. Well, there's one more piece to that the more I'm curious about them as an individual, not like I need anything from them. I'm just curious, like, tell me more about you. Who are you? I'd love to know more about that. Where is that from? That, that curiosity tends to open people and it makes me a good listener. It causes me to sit back and instead of going forward with my energy, really receive somebody in, which makes somebody feel seen and heard and special. So how do you develop this ability? Well, first off, stop thinking of it as approaching women and just Think of it as being social. I'm going to go out today and practice being social. And if I happen to talk to a beautiful woman and it starts to move in that direction, great. I'll, I'll set that intention. But in the beginning, if, if you, especially if you don't have much experience with this, just practice being social. And with time, you can start to work. When you get really good at being social, you can start working towards getting those phone numbers and dates more and more and more. The skill set will develop itself. Okay. So when you go out, what is the art of being social? Well, I used to go out every day and 10, 20 people, I would just stop on the street and ask them a question. Uh, if I saw somebody standing on the side of the road and they were just hanging out, I might ask them a question or give them a compliment. If I was in line at Starbucks, I might ask somebody a question in line next to me. Hey, what are you getting today? I can't decide, you know? And I just practiced saying hi to everybody. Now, how did I realize this originally? I'm gonna tell you a little story. I did this originally, well, there was a couple different times this happened. <laughs> I was standing there once at a bookstore many years ago and this girl w walked up next to me and I think I just blurted out, I didn't even think about it, I just blurted out, yeah, that's a, I really like this book or what do you think of this book or something like that and she just started talking back to me and we had a nice conversation. As I turned, I realized she was pretty damn hot and we had a really good conversation and I was like, wait a minute, I can do this with all women. I can just ask them a question about something I am actually interested in 
And that was the key. That was the big realization. I didn't make up a good question to get a conversation started. I actually used real authentic curiosity. I look for stuff that I'm really curious about and then I ask a question about it. I make a comment about it. I make a statement and then ask a question. And then the conversation ensues. An example of this is I'm walking down the street. I see somebody has, like I'm in a mall, a new mall, and somebody has the Converse bag. And I love the Converse store. I like Converse tennis shoes, or at least I used to. I will go, hey, excuse me, where's the Converse store? And they'll say, oh, such and such. Oh my God, I've been wanting to get a new pair of Converse. Which ones did you get? You know, something like that. I'll just start a conversation. Doesn't matter if it's great, because in time I will get better. Then I'll see somebody else and I'll stop them and I go, hey, that jacket is amazing. Where did you get that jacket? You know, I've been looking for one just like it. Or I know just the person, I'm gonna give it to them as a gift. Something like that. And I'll just go to five, 10 times a day. I might ask somebody for, or for directions once I get good at this. Now, how does that work? You're like, wait a minute, I don't give a fuck about the directions. And now you're just asking a random question. Well, the truth is, is that once you get good at curiosity, you can ask almost anything and be curious because there's a, something that's even deeper and that's you. And this is the secret. That's you getting curious about the person. Can you get curious about people in general? Can you get curious about that individual? So when I ask them where they got their Starbucks, I'm really interested in how they're going to respond. How are they going to be open? Are they going to be closed? Do they like Starbucks? Do they not like Starbucks? Because I'm interested in the, in getting to know the individual and deciding if I like them. So because I'm interested in them, I can almost lead with almost any question because I can access curiosity at the moment. So imagine, and this is the key, imagine you could access curiosity at the moment and you just walk up to people all day and be curious or make a statement. Oh my God. And, it, and there's two ways. Like right away, I can walk up and say, hey, you know, that, that drink looks amazing. Where did you get it? So that's number one. That's a statement. That drink looks amazing. And then they look at you and smile. Oh, it is. Oh, where'd you get it? That's number one. So I blurt something out and then I ask a question. The other thing I could do is just ask a question. Hey, excuse me, do you know where um, Wilshire Boulevard is? I'm totally lost. I'm like a tourist around here. And then I can just watch and see how they respond because I've got access to that authentic curiosity. And that's what I'm developing. That's what I worked on really hard. Can I really be curious about people? Interesting, tell me more about that. Why, why'd you choose that job? Really? You see, people can tell the difference. And, the, and the, this is the gateway to good conversation. And when you can do it with lots of people, you do it with the barista at the coffee shop, you do it with the person ringing up your groceries, then everything changes. Now, here in Bozeman, this is a little resort town. Uh, it's a beautiful town. The people here are so nice. And they have really taught me something about connecting. Because when I'm rolling around this town, I'm blown away by how many people, more than any place I've ever been, will ask me what I'm up to. In the stores, when I'm shopping, at Target, at the grocery store the other night, they'll just stop and they'll go, so how's your day going? As you're ringing up the groceries. Well, it's going good. Well, what are you up to today? You got anything else going on today? Literally, this has happened to me like three or four times just the last couple of days with the cashiers in this town, people in the stores. And I'll go, well, I'm gonna go do this and this. And then naturally I go, well, what are you up to today? Oh, I went to, this, this kid last night was doing it to me. He's, oh, I went to school today and I play bass. And um, I said, oh, are you in a band? He said, oh, I wanna be in a band so bad. And we started a conversation, but he started it with me. Right before that, a girl at Target did it. Right before that, a girl at the coffee shop did it. And I was amazed at how they just stopped, look you in the eyes and say, How's your day going? And there's genuine, authentic curiosity. And then they go, well, what are you doing today? You got anything planned? And it's like, a, a, like normal in this town to do that. And it becomes so easy to meet people. So if you could access that genuine curiosity, you can lead with that genuine curiosity and just stop people on the street. They will want to talk to you because people are sucked in by it. Now, don't get discouraged if you don't nail this in the beginning. Because in the beginning, you might be trying to fake curiosity. We've got to get that out. And that's what this final technique is going to be about. This technique is going to be about getting that fake curiosity out and learning to access real curiosity. But before I do, I want to invite you really quick to like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because it helps us to grow the channel to bring you more videos. Make sure you put a comment in the video because those comments are awesome. We look at them all the time. And make sure to share because those shares really help us to grow the channel. And uh, the more we can grow the channel, the more we can bring awesome content to you.
So I promised you that I would help, I'd help you to develop this area of your life. So let's talk about it a little bit. How do we do that? Go to a high traffic area where there's a lot of people, get a notebook and just sit down and be curious and welcome curiosity and, and start to notice what's real curiosity and fake curiosity. And is there anything about this person I could be curious about? And then write it down. Their jacket, I'm wondering where they got their jacket. Can I actually be curious about it? You'll feel a warm, fuzzy feeling in their heart. And write down three things about each person because it might take you a few minutes to find that curiosity. And then another person comes in. And I don't care what they look like. If they're a hot chick, that's awesome. But if they're uh, an old man, that's awesome too. What can you be curious about? And just write stuff down. And if you do this every day, maybe you sit down for 10, 15, 20 minutes every day welcoming this idea of curiosity, appreciation, gratitude, and you write down things that each person has. Like, can, I, maybe I can't find curiosity for that person, but I can be grateful for this, or I appreciate that about this person. And then that'll lead to curiosity. And then the next thing you know, you're writing on something that you're curious about, you know? And then you're pretty soon you're like, well, who is this person? And this is a question I want you to ask yourself. Who is this person? What's their story? And just be curious, you don't have to know it, can you find curiosity for it? What have they done in their life? What's the most interesting thing they've done in their life? Where's the most interesting place they've been? What's the saddest thing they've been to? Start asking yourself these questions and then start letting your imagination roll. And then write down some of that too. And as you start to write this stuff down about each person, whether it's real or not, you're gonna to start to get a sense of this warm, fuzzy energy that's curiosity. With time, after about a, maybe a few days, a week of doing this, every day for a little bit, you're going to start to be able to pull up curiosity at will. You're going to be able to start to think of the word curiosity, appreciation, or gratitude, depending on whatever you're working on, because you can use this with any emotion. And it will just start to come up in your body. And then you can just say hi to somebody with curiosity. Hi, how's your day going? Oh, what are you doing today? You got anything planned? And you just kind of roll from there. Um, you know, where'd you get that jacket? It's beautiful. I really love that jacket. Or, you know what, that scarf is amazing. You know, where'd you get that scarf? Or this book, oh wow, this book is so cool. Do you know anything about this book? Can you tell me more about it? You blurt and then you'll ask a question and pretty soon uh, it'll start to come out of you naturally. And that's the next step. The next step is to go out and start actually doing it. When you can feel that sense of curiosity, I want you to go out and practice using it in conversations. Walk up to five people a day, stand next to somebody in line. You don't even have to walk up to them, stand up, get into a line and ask them a question. You don't even have to buy anything. Just ask a question at the counter too. Stand in line, ask a question of this person. Hey, what are you getting today? What are you getting a, um, you're just getting a plain coffee? What are you getting? I can't decide, help me decide. Then you get to the, the barista, you know what? I changed my mind. I think, I think I'm gonna go home and if you don't want a drink, I think I'm just gonna go home. I, I changed my mind. But anyways, how's your day going? And just roll with it, okay? Whatever comes up for you. And the more you do this kind of stuff, the more natural it's gonna become and the easier it's gonna be. And this is how you're gonna start starting conversations. Without starting conversations, you're gonna be creating social skills. Now, if you want to learn how to approach women and move towards getting a phone number and a date, I want you to check out my five video series and uh, we'll put the link, the first one in here on the basics of approaching women all the way to the point of getting a date. But if you master this step, the curiosity step, and you really get good with curiosity, you journal it, you work with it, and it'll only take you like a week or so, then the, all the steps in that five video series are gonna be so much easier. And you can go through the series one at a time and it can radically shift your life with dating and approaching women. And uh, those videos will lead to so many more that'll take, that are so much more advanced, it'll take you even deeper than those five videos once you get through them. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a lot of value out of it. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share and uh, make sure to comment. Yeah, we love those comments. Make sure to put a comment in the video and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have a beautiful day.